Hello and welcome to the Habis Teha YouTube channel. This is Peter Gould speaking. The topic is not for the first time that hashtag science reclaims the www. I spent eight months um, retweeting stuff with a combination of science reclaims the www, fight fake science, Science, Psycom, Viscom, that's about it. And of course, because I did uh, around 100 retweets a day, I had to be quick, so I did not always choose the hashtags by hand and, and stuff and things. It, it started bad at the beginning because I wanted to do an own account just for this from to separate it from my private stuff and YouTube killed that account after not even three days right away from the very beginning for promoting hashtags and they are kind of right I wanted to promote the hashtag with it and probably they found out because my other account, which was linked, of course, by phone number, they do not allow any accounts without phone number. They allow to sign up with email, but within minutes after opening the account, the bots ask you to, ident to identify yourself with the phone number, otherwise they will kill everything anyway. Whatever, they killed one right away. And the other one they left open because it was for a couple of years already and so I guess it was under less supervision and was the bots of Twitter could see it and it was in use by a person. And it was not open using an email address, I guess it was open using a phone number directly. So anyway, but after those eight months, but interestingly, a few hours after I posted three times using the hashtag Holocaust did happen because that's one of my other things fighting Holocaust deniers. Just a few hours after I used that hashtag the account got, got suspended. Now of course Twitter support does, did not tell me which tweets were offending they just said pushing hashtags. Now I used Holocaust it happened twice without anything more than that just to make a statement and that maybe that they just considered this pushing a hashtag because it was completely unrelated there was nothing else written in there so it was a statement on itself but they don't let people explain of course or explain once then tell you what they what the decision is and then they close the case and the case is closed forever so you you can't get or at least i could not get any answer about what was the offending tweet so i'm not sure if it was the science reclaims the www the whole science stuff which was always kind of related to what i posted because i was all retweeting science stuff or if it was the Holocaust did happen, which is in fact a statement on itself, so it can't be unrelated because it relates to itself. But that's something bots don't understand and underpaid uh, support uh, clerks neither. So, whatever. The result is I do not know why my account got suspended except for pushing hashtags and any use of a hashtag is pushing said hashtag so this says nothing now what i think about this kind of i can't continue with science reclaims the www that way twitter is definitely hostile against what i do here now after I, my account got reinstated, 
I just did retweet scientific stuff without any comment and I found out that retweeting without comment somehow gives more, probably more reach than retweeting with a comment. Retweeting with a comment is kind of like your own tweet and retweeting is really a sharing of the other tweet and this is valued much more by the whole system and the writer's original tweet even gets notified that something got retweeted. I think if something gets retweeted with a, a comment, it, I did not have the feeling that the original posters have ever heard about it. So anyway, I did retweet without comment. So I am not pushing any hashtags here because those hashtags are... Hello. <laughs> because those hashtags are not mine. I did not add anything. The only problem is that I cannot add hashtags. The original posters are for, forgot to put in that way. And this is what I mainly want to do. I want to push a hashtag. Yes, I want to push science. And there is a hashtag science. S-E-I-E-N-C-E. -E English spelling, yes. And so the thing is, so many channels I have subscribed to, so many Twitter channels like Scientific American, American like Nature, like even the SciCom, I am SciCom, Real Scientists, whatever, people don't hardly ever use the hashtag science. They use the hashtag microbiology, they use entomology, they use genetics, they use biology, they use microscopy, virology, whatever. That's all fine, but the problem is you will never get entomology trending. Except if really every entomologist in the whole planet would post every day several tweets mentioning that word. But even then, if somebody says, says, sees this in a trending, they say, what the heck is this? So the problem is those bots, those uh, bots only use the words which are written, written letter by letter in the text. So if there is no hashtag science in there, they will not make science trending because they don't know it's science. They don't know that entomology is science, that ornithology is science, that mycology is science, microphotography is science. They don't know this and they don't add hashtags, at least not in this thing. They add advertising hashtags and whatever or not hashtags, but keywords. They have their own set of keywords, of course, but they don't add hashtags. So if you talk about science, but do not label it as science with the hashtag science, yeah, nothing happens. Except only the guys in your field will know what you do. So if you talk to the general public, it would be extremely important to add a hashtag every other scientist is adding too. I try to establish one, but after 10,000 science claims the WWW, I still was 99.9999% of mine, my tweets, and 5 or 10 from others. That's all. So, but the hashtag science is used by quite many scientists. So if you do something with science and tweet about it and you just add that little hashtag science, you will add up to those. I used science. I contributed 10,000 science tweets, by the way, and science never got trending in my list. So it needs much, much more. But we have enough scientists of all the fields. 
which tweet about their work. We should have no problem to make the hashtag science trending. But if you don't use it because you say, I know I do science, so Twitter should know too. Doesn't work. Twitter does not know what you do. You see it with those pushing hashtags. Twitter does not even know apparently which tweet was offensive, or at least they don't tell me. So, yeah, I talked already for too long for a video. After six minutes or after three minutes, nobody's watching anymore. I know this from my statistics. So this is it for now. Use the hashtag science all over the world by millions of people, by all those hundred thousands of scientists. Use it. Use it. I can't do it alone. I will only get banned and you never hear about me anymore. This is proven, by the way, by now. Thank you very much for watching and for acting. Thank you. Thank you.